besides George Soros, I wonder who else is giving to tithes. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't it be neat if somebody reported on all this unidentified money that must be pouring through to the Tides Foundation? Where does it all come from? Did you know the president's favorite new news site? The Huffington Post? Uh-oh. Well, this is probably going to make him sad. Huffington Post probably won't report on this. Why? Well, Mrs. Rayburn, the principal, might decide to make an example out of you. Gee, Wally. Well, gee, Wally, they got a new Huffington Post investigative fund. Yeah. It's a journalism venture that seeks to create one of the largest investigative newsrooms in the country. Gee, gee, Wally, wouldn't it be nice if they did some investigation on the Tides Foundation? Yeah, probably won't. We'll get in trouble to even mention this once Dad gets home and found out who's funding them. Yeah. That's an example. Well, they named one of Tui Brown when he was in the sixth grade. He ran out on the new gym floor with his regular shoes on. The coach made him wear his sneakers around his neck for the whole day. According to their site? Here it is, according to the Huffington Post site. Huffington Post, here it is. Huffington Post Investigative Fund is an independent, nonpartisan venture. We are in the process of creating our own nonprofit institution. While we do so, the Tides Center, a nonprofit incubator, serves as our fiscal sponsor and provides administrative responsibilities. Gosh, it's great. Fantastic. Nothing spooky or shadowy about that. Because we know Tides is great. Except that still leaves us with that pesky question, who gives all the money to Tides? You know what we should do? We should go back to Drummond Pike, because he ran the place. It's great. And I bet we could find something, you know, on the Tides, on their own website. There it is, Tides Foundation. Here it is, uh, how you can give. Uh-oh, maintain your privacy. Donors' privacy is protected and anonymity is ensured if you so desire. When you recommend grants through Tides Foundation, a particular grant recommendation or all of your giving can be anonymous. Gee, Wally. Gee, Wally. That's trouble. Unless you're a dirtbag. Do you remember Dale Rathke? Completely, I don't know why I said dirtbag and thought of him. Anyway, he was caught embezzling one million dollars from Acorn. That might have been it. Well, who was there to bail him out? <laughs> yes, Drummond Pike from Tides. Now, Drummond tried to make it anonymous, but it didn't work out for him. May I ask Nancy Pelosi, instead of the chamber, why don't you start here? Because that's a pretty good place, don't you think? Really? Better than the Chamber of Commerce? Maybe it's me. Juice box? Well, what do you think they'll make me wear around my neck? I don't know. But they'll think of something.